Oprah. She's making headlines with this photo. Take a look of her stunning weight loss. 26 pounds on Weight Watchers while still enjoying bread, she says. And now she's talking about how meditation may be helping, too. Lindsay Davis here with that story. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, George. Oprah was not just showcasing her man in this picture, but also showing off her weight loss. And she says meditation has played a role in her slimming down. The woman known for her Midas touch is now singing the praises of meditation, saying it will help us recognize what we're really hungry for. Oprah Winfrey wowing us in a red dress on Instagram this weekend. Her weight loss efforts showing big results. I lost 26 pounds and I have eaten bread every single day. Looking now like she may have lost even more weight than her announcement more than two weeks ago and revealing it may not just be Weight Watchers that's helping her shed the pounds. Meditation is a way of progressively quietening the mind. Oprah joining spiritual guru and author of Super Genes, Deepak Chopra, on a 21-day meditation challenge called Shedding the Weight, Mind, Body and Spirit, a method that some claim can help with weight loss. We're also introducing the idea of shedding emotional baggage, which frequently is a cause of weight gain. According to Oprah, this discovery program has helped her gain insight into her struggle with weight loss, saying, I have learned that weight can affect more than just our physical being. Researchers continue to study the link between meditation and weight loss. And while there's some evidence that meditation can help people lose weight, it's still too early to make solid conclusions. Yet Deepak Chopra claims there is a connection and it works. Meditation decreases the levels of cortisol which is a stress hormone. When you have stress, then you accumulate belly fat. Many nutritionists also say losing weight must include serious changes in diet. Meditation alone will not take off the weight. It's really important to pay attention to the types of food that one is eating, the portion, and then you can really, really focus on weight loss. Still, anyone can meditate, and this, the 10th meditation from Chopra and Winfrey, will be sure to add inspiration to those trying to shed the pounds. Let's let 2016 be the year of our best bodies. Now, of course, people will be watching for the Oprah effect of how many people will try to get in the zone through meditation in the hopes of losing some unwanted weight. But mindfulness and meditation is something Oprah's been talking about for years, way before it was in vogue. But this may be the first time she's actually connecting the dots to weight loss. George? Hey, Lindsay, thanks. Let's talk about this more with Dr. Jen Ashton right now. Now, meditation is not the answer, but it can complement a weight loss program. Exactly. And this is an area of intense focus and research right now because, you know, you've been meditating for years. I just learned in the last two years, people have been doing it for 10, 20, 30 years. Now, we're really trying to get this all hands on deck approach to overweight and obesity and look at anything we can do to help people lose weight and manage weight. So, you know, when we looked at the data, I just gave you one mm -hmm. of the studies. There's very limited data. The studies are not well constructed, but what it does show is mindfulness does tend to have an effect on emotional eating. Well, like that's what I was going to ask about. That's what Dr. Yeah. Chopra was talking about. This uh, this emotional baggage. No question. And I mean that, and that's common sense, right? It, if you do it alone, is it going to help affect a significant amount of weight loss? The data says probably not. If you do it in conjunction with other <laughs> behavioral modifications, really like an all-out approach, of course it so can. So you would help. tell your you would tell your patients try it out. Why not? And what, any downsides at all? Well, look, you have to take a whole, really a holistic approach and go head to toe here when you look at weight loss. I mean, the first thing is, you know, you're gonna make this assessment and say, what do I want to do? Assess your diet, assess your behavior, get a support system in place. I mean, we've heard that again and again because it is really important. I also recommend that people look for what we call obesogenic medications. A lot of people are on drugs, prescription. Obesogenic? Obesogenic medications. Medications, antidepressants, antihistamines that actually are making them gain weight. If you if you can avoid them and remove them, that's a big plus. And then, no question, we have to treat obesity as a disease, and if necessary, medication to help lose weight and surgery to help lose weight. Downside, I mean, some medication, uh, some meditation is free to learn. Some there's a small fee. The only downside I can see, George, is if you're going to put all your eggs in the basket of meditation and avoid aggressive efforts to lose weight doing other things. Like you say, all hands on deck. You got to try everything. hundred percent. And, and I'm a big advocate of meditation. Okay. So. Jen Ashton, thanks so much. You, you can bet. take questions throughout the morning. You can tweet Absolutely. her at Jay Ashton or go to GMA's Facebook page.